rename your project yeah. okay so you guys should be in your dashboard you should be right here you should see your project would you please click the rename button right now I'm gonna rename this one rename and please make sure it's capital P a for you guys number one one underscore underscore lowercase c h a r for character i n t r o for intro, underscore, your first initial, all lowercase, and your last name. Not your last initial and your first name, which some of you have done, okay? So first initial, last name. It's very important that it be capital P, capital A, number one, underscore, C-H-A-R-I-N-T-R-O, underscore, C Spittler, okay? Then hit save. I'm not, I'm going to use this as my example, so I'm not going to hit save. When you hit save, it'll automatically save it with your new name. One thing you should know about um, WeVideo, unlike Google uh, Docs and things, if you have something with the same name, it's not going to warn you that you already have something with this name. Um, you can have 27 with the uh, files with the same name, so be careful. Also, remember, when you open up your project, inside your project, the very first thing you're supposed to do, and I'm still seeing a lot of people who haven't done this is to go up here and click on this it should not say my video it should say the very same thing p a capital p capital a number one underscore karen show underscore c spitler or first initial last name so you guys make sure that go ahead and open up your edit and make sure that that's the case also um so fix that please thank you uh and from now on never turn in and never have anything that's called my video ever that'll that's you being um sloppy Make sure you, as soon as you open up for the first edit, you go up and you rename the project like we talked about. So in classwork, so down here under storytelling project, you, um, you have this one right here. It says submit your completed character intro video here. So just know that that is where the assignment is gonna go, okay? Um, looks like open, you open up your project. I'll just open up the sample one here for period one. When I am totally happy with it being what it is, then you go here to the blue button, finish. So if you guys want to do this now, you can. Open up your project. So you're, you see it on the, on the timeline. You see it on your deck. And click the blue finish button. Now, um, some things that you may want to consider. Uh, you Right now, I've got no thumbnail. It's all black. So if you want to control what the thumbnail is before you send it, you can go back to the editor. And if you move your indicator to capture the um, thumbnail that's here, and then go here and hit Save, it says Capturing Thumbnail Image. I recommend you do that like three times, because sometimes once isn't enough for it to really remember it's there. So you kind of lock it into its little brain. Then go back to finish, and you should see your, uh, your thumbnail come up. Okay, um, so now you got the thumbnail you want. You see it there in the window. Be sure you click HD, not SD. Make sure it's in high def when you save it. Double check that up here the title is exactly what it's supposed to be. Okay, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't say my video or something else up here. It should say what we just went through earlier today, right? all the, the particulars. Be sure you're exporting it as video, not something else. This will default normally, so you would have to click this to change it, but you know, sometimes moving your, your, your cursor around, you click in strange places and strange things happen. So uh, you're happy with your, your uh, thumbnail, your title's correct, you've clicked HD, okay? You don't have these things down here. These things do not appear for you, okay? Then you click export. Now, depending on how long it takes for your video clip to save, um, and something like this, it's a minute long, depending on what's in the queue, depending on what's already cooking uh, from all, on all this, the servers from all the other people using my video, this could take anywhere from two minutes to 20 minutes. If, if the project's really long, it's gonna take at least a half hour to process. But I've had things that were only, uh, you know, just sample things like 20 seconds long, I've had them still take 10 minutes. 
um, because uh, of just the servers being busy. And then I've had other things that were five minutes process and, it's, and it only took 10 minutes. So there's no real indicator for how long it's gonna take except what they tell you right here. So it'll tell you ready in X number of seconds. And sometimes that's faster or slower than they actually say here. But this is their estimate, so pretty good. They're saying that my 33 second little uh, video is only gonna take another 30 seconds to um, process. So we're gonna let it finish up. And as it says right here, you don't have to keep this window open. You can close this and go off and do other things and come back. It'll send you an email to your school email, the email address that you log in with, and tell you that your, your uh, export is ready. And then you can work with it from there. Or you can just leave this window open and go off and do other things and just come back. Okay, we're almost there. It says it's ready in a second. Uh, as you can see, that second's up and it's still not ready. So this isn't always 100% accurate, like I was saying, but it's close. Okay, so um, from here, you can um, click on this and watch the video. It'll take you to a special viewing page. And this is also the same page you'll see if you open up the email, it takes you to the same page. All right, so um, you can play it and watch it here. Now, um, you can download it to your desktop. I think, I'm not sure you get all of these, but I know you get this one right here. So um, now once you've got it, you can turn it into Google Classroom. So when you click on this sucker, it takes you to a, a pop-up window for a Google Classroom. Beautiful, okay, so choose your class. So find performing art. Okay, then choose your assignment. Okay, click that one, hit go. Okay, go ahead and hit attach. Uh, your assignment's ready to turn and you can go ahead and view assignment. Okay, yeah, so you attached it, it's there. Just hit, just hit turn in, yeah, your link's there. And that's it. Now your video has been uploaded from WeVideo to Google Classroom. Please use this method of uh, submitting your videos to Google, Google Classroom and not any other. Please do not copy and paste links or uh, take any approaches like that because oftentimes those don't work out exactly as planned. Um, this is the safest way to be sure that you get your video to me intact. So there you have it. Hope it was helpful. Have fun with your projects and good luck. <laughs>